Friends, we are assembled in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate in the presence and a first miracle that was, that was wrought in Cana of Galilee. It is commanded by the Apostle Paul to be honorable among all men, and therefore it is not to enter into lightly, but reverently, soberly. Who gives this woman to be married? Thank you. The Holy Scriptures set before you the love of Christ for his church as an example for your devotion. You are not left without guidance concerning the meaning of love. These are the words of the great apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 in part. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous nor boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. In the book of Genesis, when, Ab when Adam was alone in the garden, it was said that it is not good for man to live alone. So marriage is instituted by God, anointed by God. And we must not take marriage lightly. When we are married and we are together, it's not just love, but it's a respect for one another, giving to one another, sharing with one another, walking with one another in sickness, in happiness, and whatever it may be, feeling for one another. Marriage is just not a contract. It goes beyond the contract. It goes beyond into a oneness with, with each other, knowing and feeling each other, knowing when one is in hurt, when one is in want, Love is a beautiful thing because it was instigated by God. Let us bow our heads a moment. <clears throat> our Heavenly Father, way back before we've even known, we thank you for instituting this marriage. We thank you, Father, that where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am in the midst. And we thank you that you will walk with each one in a oneness that you will teach and show them many things as they turn to you and ask for wisdom and knowledge we thank you of this day of this great wondrous day that two can be united as one in the name of Jesus amen Do you, Douglas Scott Corset, solemnly agree before God and these witness to take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and respect, honor her, cherish her in health and in sickness and in prosperity, leaving all others to keep yourself only unto her so long as you're both still alive? Do you, Mary Jane Foreman, like manner, solemnly agree to receive this man as your lawful wedded husband, to love, to respect him, to live with him in all faith and tenderness, in health and in sickness and prosperity, and leave all others to keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live.
Even the mic gets excited. <laughs> Let's bow our heads once again. Heavenly Father, we have heard from these two persons and accepted the solemn vows of marriage to do, grant unto them grace and courage, love and loyalty, constant and faith to maintain these vows to the end of the way. May this new home radiate the sunshine of thy love and may every heart that comes in contact with this home be enriched with your love through through Christ Jesus our Lord. I now by the authority committed within me as a minister of the gospel I declare Doug and Mary are now husband and wife according to the ordained God and the laws of the statute.